Hello and welcome to episode 10 of Fast Fridays. Today we're going to be talking about audio libraries inside of DaVinci Resolve, both built-in and user-defined audio libraries. So without any further ado, let's get into this. As usual, we're getting started here on the edit page inside of DaVinci Resolve. We have open our effects library right now, which is something if you watch the channel a lot, you're probably pretty familiar with because we use it often. We're going to go ahead and close that for this video and pop over to this sound library. We're going to go ahead and click on that and you can see this little thing right here. Looks like a maybe a drawer. Go ahead and click on that. The arrow will flip and you drop down this menu. You can see that we're using the Fairlight Sound Library right now. All you have to do to use this sound library is type something in. We'll start with, say, bell to see if we have any bell sound effects. And we have a bunch. So you click on one, you can preview it. There you go, bell clang resonance right there. And if you want that in your project, you just go ahead and click and drag right out into your project. So now if we watch this back on the timeline, there it is. Say you don't want a bell, say you need like a whoosh transition. Type in whoosh, Resolve has whooshes for you. So those are all just built in. You get to use those just because you downloaded Resolve. That's pretty sweet. But say you're a user of something like Epidemic Sound, where you're gonna be using sound effects that you went out and curated for specific things inside of your videos. So what you would do for that is take all those sound effects that you went out and curated, put them into a single folder, and then with this drop down menu here, you're gonna switch to local database. So when you switch to this, it should automatically ask you where it wants you to look. But since mine has already been told where my audio library is, I can just go ahead and type in my own whoosh right there, two O's preferably. And then these are all of my whoosh effects. But for you, it's gonna look a lot more like this. So when you switch to local database, it should pop up with something that says, where do you want us to look? You'll end up with something like this. You just go ahead and navigate to where you keep your stuff. So in mine, it's gonna be in music and sounds right here. So we're gonna go ahead and select this folder and then we'll say yes. And then it will, well, right now I have zero clips to scan because they're all scanned already, but you're gonna go ahead and watch this go through all of its clips that it needs scanned. And then once they're all done, you'll be able to use this search bar right here to look for your own sound effects that you have downloaded from the internet. Like I was saying earlier, Epidemic Sound is a great place to do that. There will be an affiliate link in the description down below. So if you're looking to get music for your videos or sound effects for your videos, that is a great place to do it. For more sound related videos, check out some of the videos in the description down below. And I'll have an end card coming up here pretty soon that will give you another video that you should go check out if you're into editing in DaVinci Resolve. That does it for this week's Fast Friday. I will see you next week on Thursday at 6 a.m. or whatever time of day you choose to watch the video.